It took me more time to edit this video than to make this blanket. I made this chunky blanket in two hours. And I made another two that day. And no chunky fancy expensive yarn. I use the yarn I always have at home. Plain, regular, medium weight yarn. And there is more. I didn't even use a crochet hook. Just my fingers. All you need is three strands of yarn. All the same color or in different colors. Just imagine all the color combinations you can create and every blanket will have its own look and personality. Let's make this blanket together. And remember, a journey of a whole blanket begins with a single stitch, a chain stitch in this case. Welcome to Crochet Tanya. Let's make beauty together, one stitch at a time. Let the fun begin. Make a slip knot. It should be loose, not tight. Then start making chain stitches. Help to hold the yarn with your thumb, just like this. Remember, not tight. The looser it is, the softer the blanket is. Yeah, just like that. Make the chain as long as you need. And then start the second row of single crochet stitches. Make it loose. And always make sure that all three strands are involved and nothing left behind. Last single crochet stitch in this row. A little bit tight. Row one is finished. Turn the work and make a second row. Chain one and single crochet stitches all along the row. It may feel a bit silly and slow and awkward at first, but very soon you will get comfortable with that. It will be automatic. Last stitches of row two. Row two is complete. Turn the work and start row three. Chain one and single crochet stitches all along. You see, it works up really fast. Six rows is already five inches, 13 centimeters. It works up really, really quick. When the body of the blanket is done, you might want to add the fringe. It is optional, 
but it will make the edges nice and neat. Fringe is really simple. Chain 4. And slip stitch in the second stitch. Skip 1. Do that all around the blanket. last loop of the fringe and the Do you like my scarf? Watch this tutorial.